the only thing that's going to change anything is education. I hear a lot of people talking about consciousness and consciousness on the rise, and then it gives you the ability to get more knowledge. Well, I don't know whether my consciousness is on the rise or not. I just know I got a lot of knowledge because I read and I study and I learn, and then we put it into practice. We actually take a practical action to do something because all that knowledge is meaningless unless you're doing something. We've heard all these things in our lifetime, and we take them as a truth, and we absorb it as a paradigm. The problem becomes as soon as we get that in our subconscious and then we emotionally tie to it, it doesn't matter whether it's right or wrong. For you, it's always right. For you, it's the truth. I hear this all the time. Well, it's my truth. I'm like, what if your truth is false? There was a saying a long time ago, knowledge is power. And now everybody thinks because of the Internet, everybody has more knowledge. Well, that may be true, but the amount of disinformation versus information on the Internet is outweighed at least 100 to 1. And so what we're doing is we're coming out with a website called Dissecting Propaganda with you've been lied to.com and the propaganda is the control of the words. And one of the things that this event has done has shown me in the last six months, just how controlled, fearful and ignorant the masses of humanity are. And I don't just mean here in the U S and so when it comes to consciousness being on the rise, for me, it's always been that knowledge is not power. The wrong knowledge gets you no power at all. You can't create power with wrong knowledge, and you can't have the right knowledge and then take the wrong action and create any power. Only the right knowledge combined with the right action creates power. It's the only way. And in international law today, just like the reason I call my website Matrix Solutions Network, which is where all these other podcasts and things are going to feed into, and in that Matrix movie, only one key fit one door, and that became a maxim as well for me. Only one key fits one door, and that door is what they put in the U.N. Charter under Article 1, Paragraph 2, the right of self-determination. If you look it up, self-determination actually has two meanings. Just go type it into Google, and Google on their front page is going to give you Google definitions, and you'll see that there's two definitions. One is to control your political status, and the other is to become a self-determined person. And... Whether people realize it or not, you cannot do one without the other. If you're not controlling your identity, if you're on benefit programs, if you're part of an e pluribus unum nation state system, and all nation states are e pluribus unum, in the rights and duties of nation states, which is signed by proxy again by giving it up to a representative, they send out ambassadors, dignitaries, they go to conferences, they sign these things, and they bind the nation state, they bind the entire society. And it says in the rights and duties of nation states, the very first thing it says is that that society, that nation, is viewed as a sole person in the eyes of international law. That means you're bound to everyone else. Now, it's also in the law of nations, which is what the founders of the USA were reading from. They were masters at law. They were students of international law. They said when it becomes necessary to break the political bands that have bound one people to another, that is the right of self-determination. The bottom line of it is there's never been a more important time for self-determination. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. We live in a world now where propaganda and censorship are the rule of the day. YouTube presentations, Facebook presentations, or any other presentation will not have completed information. If you'd like to see a complete interview, plus more content like this, then please subscribe to my Patreon, David Williams Unleashed, and then check out our membership site, Get Out of the System, because you can't get out of this system until you get the system out of you. Thanks for watching.